What's up guys, Johnny here, and in today's video, we are going to go over NEO Inc., or ticker symbol NIO. This company has gone up 13% in one day, and it is because it got recent news that it is a buy rating. Now, I am going to show you some of the uh, stock analytics, and then I will show you some news and some other cool information along the way usually i cover dividend uh, stocks but neo is definitely one that i have been keeping my eyes on so neo for all of you who don't know neo is an electric car company and their principle is basically to engage in design develop and manufacture of high-end smart vehicles this is basically um like a competition competitor of Tesla. So the company also engaged in the provisions of charging piles, vehicle internet connection services, and extended lifetime warranties. And the company mainly conducts its business in the domestic market. So why did it go up 13.5% today? Well, some of the recent news is saying that it got a buy rating. Now, NEO stock rises 10% as the Dutch bank reiterates buy ratings. NEO reported its earnings per share or EPS loss of $1.35, which was below the estimate for a loss of $1.17. However, revenues tallied in at $1.49 billion, beating the consensus analyst estimate of 1.41 billion for q3 neo expects between 31,000 and 33,000 deliveries of their electric vehicles which would imply between 10,300 and 12,300 deliveries this month alone for september now that is really great news following positive et5 customer feedback bank of america analyst also says the price target to $30, which was only $29 before, so it's only about a dollar difference. On the other hand, though, there are some recent other news. Um, 12 consumer discretionary stocks moving in Monday's intra section. NEO is definitely one of them right here. Uh, stock moved up 12.65%. With the market value outstanding at one, uh, NEO stocks trading at a volume of 64 million, which is 127% more average volume in a day over the last 100 days. So, definitely caught the attention of investors with this buy rating news. So, looking at the 28. Analysts that are saying it is a buy, 64% are saying it is a buy, 28% are saying it's a strong buy, and out of the 28 analysts, they have an average price target of $33, a low of $24, and a high of $67. This gives you the potential to double and even possibly triple your initial investment if you were to get in, say, today or at least in the $20 mark. Now, investing can be risky, so only invest what you are willing to lose because that is a possibility. And definitely do your own research too. But I do believe um, long term, NEO is an interesting company to buy into and hold long term. Um, I, I just think they have a tremendous value. And I've also done a, another video on Lucid Group Inc. Um, you should really check that video out because they have actually gone up 10% in a single day as well. And they have recent news that they have a new long-range electric battery that outperforms performance and uh, overall range better than the newest tesla model y pretty cool check that video out i'll leave a card above and a link below so with that said let's go ahead and look at their financials their financials are saying that their revenue is at 2.13 billion dollars 
They have a negative in net income in EBIT, but that's not too bad. Their earnings per share or their EPS estimate is at a negative 0.14, which isn't bad considering other companies can have a extremely high negative earnings per share ratio. Some companies can be okay to invest in with low EPSs or negative EPSs uh, if you are holding them for the long term, but that's just not something that I typically would do. Their balance sheet looks like they have 2.56 billion on their balance sheet and their net asset value is 3.89 billion net debt doesn't look to have any right now reported for q3 but in q2 they did have 0.4 of a billion dollars in debt their cash flow also is um, slightly in the negative here on the cfps and the capital expenditures is actually in the positive at a 0.16 now and with this said let's go over some indicators here so if i draw a horizontal line at the 1409 mark and i draw a horizontal line at the 2443 mark low recently was 14 dollars, and it's high recently was 24 dollars now, with that said, most of these, uh, some of these people were able to buy down here on the low RSI where the overbought indicator is. Well, if you even got in at the $16 mark, even at the $16 and you held, you would have 31% on your investment um i wouldn't necessarily day trade or swing trade this company i believe that it's a little bit overbought at the moment because uh, it is it's up 13 percent which means it may come down but for the long term if you were going to hold it i can see this company going up a little bit higher now there is a 29 to 30 price point for this and if that were to happen let's just scroll out uh scroll out a little bit as you can see this company was much much higher in previous years this january of 2021 it was as high as 66 dollars and 99 cents I mean, that's like some gold numbers right there, right? Um, but it looks like it's kind of been trending right around this kind of mark. Uh, it looks like they're trending right around here. This would be a nice level to get to. But what they're saying is that it could get to possibly $30. Okay. The lowest it's been is $11 recently. So there is a lot of risk to be had with this company. Now, let's take a look at that risk. If we were to get in right now at $21.76... And it went all the way down to 1167 you would be down 46 percent now if it rebounded down to about the 14 dollar mark where we were talking about earlier it'd be about 34 percent loss and if it went as low as where it's kind of been at now recently at the 16 dollar mark you would be at a 22 percent loss now on the other hand if you were wanting to hold on to it long term and it suggests that it's going to be anywhere between 29 and 30 dollars say you did get to 30 dollars you would actually make around 38 percent profit on your investment at the moment if it got up to that potential now imagine if it got up to this gold bar here at 66 dollars and 99 cents you would make a 207% profit if it were to get back to its original numbers in 2021. Now that would be a significant gain, an amazing play if it is possible. Nobody really knows if it's possible, right? Play this one safe. You don't want to be on the end of FOMO where it's the fear of missing out, but you don't also want to miss out in a weird way long term. Check out this video or check out this video and subscribe. Thank you guys and have a great day.